Hi, today we're going to be looking at maximum power transfer out of a source network and how to do parameter sweeping in multi-sim. If we have a source network converted to its Thevenin equivalent form, so some Thevenin voltage, let's say 10 here, and Thevenin impedance of, of 10, then what is the power that this delivers to a, to a load resistor of 500 ohm? Well, we could simulate this, determine what the voltage across the output and the current through it is, and then multiply these two numbers to calculate the power. So this is close to 10 and close to 20 milliamp. So if we take our 10 volts multiplied by 20 milliamps, then we have about 200 milliwatts, a little less than 200 milliwatts output through this 500 ohm resistor. What if we make this resistor extremely small? Maybe we have a, a one ohm resistor. Let's find out now. Okay, now we've got nine 100 millivolts, so we have a lot less voltage, but we also have we have more current. So we have 0.9 amps, 0.9 volts. 0.9 times 0.9 is going to be about 0.81. So point, let's say 0.82 or something with the other the other nines in there. So we've got about a little over 0.8 watts out. So you know where where exactly is the maximum of this? If we set this to to an extreme, if we set a really low resistor, let's say zero then we get one amp out, that's great, but we have no voltage, so the power is zero. If you set this to a really, really high resistor, let's say one, oh, okay, let's try one E9, so a, a giga ohm, then we have all 10 volts across the output, but now the current is basically zero, 10 nanoamps going through it. So that's gonna be an extremely small amount of power too. So maybe there's some resistor value somewhere in the middle where we get the most power transferred. You can do some analytical work and try to determine what it is there, but another thing we can do is do some plotting work. So a parameter sweep in multi-sim will help us answer this question. To do a parameter sweep, you click on this analysis type button here or in the menu up here under simulate, you can go to analyses and simulation. This is in multi-sim 14 that I'm using here. Earlier versions have a, a dropout menu to the side here where you would click on parameter sweep. Uh, our version, Multisim 14, it just brings up this menu and then you click parameter sweep on the left. So what we're gonna do is sweep a device parameter, resistor five, that's the resistor we wanna sweep the value of there. And we're gonna sweep its resistance from one ohm to one giga ohm, decade sweep to get a log plot there. Seven points per decade sounds great. Then we need to set the output. So we want to look at the power through resistor five. So we'll remove that variable, go down here and find the power through R5. Double click and add it, or you could click the add button to move that over, move one of the parameters over, that's fine too. And then you click run and it should sweep the resistance value of R5 and look at the power that's dissipated in it versus its resistance. So it looks like there is an optimum somewhere between one and a hundred. So we could try to zero in on that and find out what the actual what the actual value is. Looks like it's about 10 is the optimum. Okay, so seems like the optimum value of load resistance to get the most power transferred is exactly the same as the Thevenin resistance in the circuit. Let's try out some different values. So if we go back over here and we change this to let's say a thousand, let's see where the optimum value is now. So we rerun the sweep and sure enough, the max power is transferred at 1000. If we set it to a 10,000 Thevenin resistance, then we can get a maximum power transfer at a resistance of 10k. So the resistance to have on the load to get the most power out of a source is when the load resistance is matched to the source resistance. This isn't actually what you'd want in all situations because in that instance is when the, that, that's the situation where although that's the most power we could get out of a given source, it also is a point where the source is draining half of its power inside itself. So half of the power is dissipated across the Thevenin resistance when you have the maximum power transferred to the output. In a lot of situations, you're also concerned with the efficiency of delivering power to the output. So what you want is minimum voltage drop across this internal resistance and 
most of the voltage dropped across the output so that you're not draining so much power internally in the circuit. We can modify the parameter sweep here to also look at the power that's drained across the Thevenin resistance. So we called that RTH there and run that. So although the maximum power is drained across the load resistance when it's matched to the source, the maximum power delivered by the voltage source turns out to be when the load resistance is zero. And from the source voltage alone's perspective, that kind of makes sense. So here we've got always 10 volts across it. And so the power that this is delivering, which is where all of the power in this circuit comes from, is equal to 10 volts multiplied by the current through it. And that means since 10 volts is fixed, we got the most power dissipated whenever the current is a maximum. And the current is going to be a maximum when the total series voltage is a minimum, which is when we have no load resistance at all. The maximum efficiency, on the other hand, would be the point where the load resistance is draining all of the power that the, that the circuit is actually providing. So that's where this resistor is much, much larger than the Thevenin resistor. In that situation, there's no voltage drop across this. The current will be very small, but at least all of the power that the source is actually delivering is going into the load.